So here's a quick tip for dealing with offline media in your DaVinci Resolve project. A lot of times you'll get media offline of everything in your project, as you can see here. And usually what happens is, in, like in this case, I move the project folder from one drive to another because I wanted to archive it. So one way you can obviously relink things in Resolve is select everything and right click and go relink selected clips and then tell it where the new location of the media is which obviously works, but sometimes that can take a long time, if, especially if you have a lot of media in a project. In this case, because all I did was move the folder from one location to another, a better option to do this is to not use the relink selected clips folder, but instead use this option that says change source folder. So when you click that, and this only works if the media that you're trying to link to all shares the same top level folder, in this case, this is where all my project media is stored. And there's various subfolders under it, but this is the top level folder. Uh, what I did is I created a folder on another drive and named it this for archiving purposes. But then the entire project media folder, everything's the same in terms of where the subfolders are. So I don't need to relink to everything. All I have to do is change the source folder. The source folder being this, this is where the original media was supposed to be at. And now it's in a different location. I just got to change that source folder. So instead of relinking, I just, just tell Resolve, change the top level source folder to this new location, like that. And now you can see what's going to happen here. So if I hit change, everything instantly relinks. It doesn't have to go drilling down all those folders to find all the media. So if this was like a two terabyte subfolder of media, it would happen pretty much instantly. Whereas if you used relink, it'll just drill down into every folder in that top level folder and you might be sitting there for a few minutes just to get everything to relink. But you don't have to do that. As long as you don't change the relative paths of all the subfolders within the top level folder, this is the better way to do it and the safer way to do it.